And I found this word last year, Selah. It's a Hebrew word. And it is found in between each psalm. It's not before or after. It is in between, in the space between. Selah, psalms. Um, that's where we get the title for psalms. Um, some people say it means amen, so be it. But my favorite translation of the word Selah is place your attention here. And that is such a beautiful, beautiful thought. In the spaces, in between everything. Stop living in three time zones, past, present, and future. Place your attention here. So this is a prayer. This is a morning prayer. It's a Selah. <clears throat> Rising with the morning sky Sela Resting neath the midday sun Sela 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 Singing with the evening stars Sela Sela Dreaming me that midnight moon Sela Listening in this moment Sela Sela Learning in the spaces Sela Living this life Learning this love Sela Sela Teaching what I have learned Sela Breathing in inspiration Sela, Sela Holding the center Sela Letting go the breath Sela, Sela Holding this space deep, Selah. Rising with the morning sky, Selah, Selah. Resting deep at midday sun, Selah. Singing with the evening stars Sela, Sela Dreaming with that midnight moon Sela Listening in this moment Sela, Sela Living this life, learning this love Sela, Sela Teaching what I have learned Sela Breathing in inspiration Sela, Sela Holding this center Sela, Sela Letting go the breath Sela, Sela Holding this space 
together and then take a short break so people can stretch legs and if there are any people that have used their lungs in the room, they can take care of that today. Um, <laughs> and then we'll come back for more. So I hope you have your percussion still with you. This is um, this is a very special chant. I wrote this a few years ago for um, for a festival up at Mich in Michigan, Ma Michigan Pagan Festival. They had asked me to write something for the main ritual that they were doing. And when I got there, I found out that the person who was actually going to facilitate the main ritual was Selena Fox. And I don't know how many people here know who Selena Fox is, but she's a big nosed pagan. But she is the most amazing, wonderful just wow person one of the most amazing people i've ever met in my whole life she's the real deal she you know she's she's not just she doesn't pay lip service to this i mean she lives eats breathes this lifestyle and she's she's been in front of congress testifying and everything else she's just really an amazing woman a wonderful wonderful beautiful spirit beautiful heart well i was very excited you know, that I found out that Selena Fox was going to be doing the ritual. So we're at ritual, and she's doing ritual, and I'm like all calm on the outside. I'm on the inside. I'm like, Selena Fox, I'm doing ritual. <laughs> <laughs> so that was about four, four or five years ago. Last September, I was scheduled to be up at South Carolina Pagan Pride Day, and Selena was going to be there as well. And three days before the before Pagan Friday in South Carolina, she pops up on my Facebook Messenger and says, do you have a few minutes to talk? What's your phone number? So on the outside, I'm like, oh, come on. The inside, I'm like, Selena Fox wants my phone number. Selena Fox wants my phone number. She wanted me to do this chant for the ritual that she was going to be presenting with the community. So it's very special to me. Um, it's, it's very nice that, that folks are embracing it, and I love it. And it's called One Tribe. It's the last song on the CD. And uh, it's really simple. If I sing it, you sing it. That's it. It's a call and response. So if I say, Many flames, many flames, many hearts, many hearts, many ways, many ways, many ways. One 